the president. I will order the military and the police to hunt down the drug lords, the big ones, and kill them. With more than 90% of the vote counted Tuesday morning, Davao City Mayor Rodrigo Duterte has secured more than 15 million votes, claiming victory in this year's presidential election race. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Philippines, Rodrigo Roa Duterte. My God, I hate drugs. We will not stop until the last drug lord, the last financer, and the last pusher have surrendered or put behind bars <laughs> or below the ground if they so wish. <laughs> Ngayong nasanaya, pag may tanim pa dyan, out sila na. Consistent with the Duterte government's mantra, change is also coming to NAIA. First on their priority list is putting an end to the so-called bullet scam. Instead of arresting a traveler with a bullet in his or her luggage, the bullet will just be confiscated and the passenger will be allowed to fly. <laughs> Rodi Duterte signed the cornerstone executive order called the Freedom of Information. On the glamour of our citizens for timely issuance of Philippine passports, the government shall work towards amendment of the 1996 passport law to lengthen the validity of the passports from the current five years to ten years. They are ours. They belong to the Philippines. They are part of our national heritage. In May 2017, the city of Marawi in the south of the Philippines was plunged into conflict as IS affiliated militants seized control over the city. Ladies and 
gentlemen, I hereby declare Marawi City liberated from the terrorist influence that marks the beginning of the application. Duterte also threatened to close PALS Terminal in Metro Manila if TAN would refuse to pay 6 billion pesos in unpaid air navigational charges incurred since the 1970s. In November 2017, PAL finally paid the 6 billion pesos. <laughs> Rodrigo Duterte earlier this year declared the island a cesspool following years of mismanagement, corruption, over tourism, and environmental degradation. I will close Boracay. Boracay is a cesspool. <laughs> Philippines is finally reopening after being shut down six months ago to undergo massive rehabilitation works. What have we done to you to deserve this kind of treatment for my country? Time magazine includes Duterte in Strongman cover. The latest issue of the renowned magazine's international edition included President Rodrigo Duterte in its cover as one of the leaders heading the rise of the strongman. Yung basura ng yung basura ng Canada. I want a boat prepared. I'll give uh, a warning to Canada maybe next week.
ilang uh, ilang araw na lang, ilang linggo na lang ay uh, huling State of the Nation address nyo na po. Ano ang dapat abangan ng ating mga kababayan at ano po yung mga maipagmamalaki ng legacy ng Duterte administration? Nothing. Hindi ko ipagyawang. Una-una, hindi ko ito pera. That's not, uh, that's not my money. Worker ako ng government, nagtrabaho lang ako. So wala akong dapat ipagyabang.